In the perilous city of Rapture, these hulking brutes roam the streets, feared by all they encounter. The halls and passages of the city shake as they draw near, as do the hearts of those who sense them. They are Rapture's protectors, otherwise known as Big Daddies. The Big Daddies were originally created by Dr. Yi Suchong to serve as the caretakers of Rapture. It was their job to maintain the city, as well as drilling deep into the ocean floor so that Rapture could grow. However, after the Little Sisters were created for the purpose of recycling Adam from corpses, the Big Daddies were tasked with protecting them. For a long time, Suchon struggled to develop a bond between the Little Sister and the Big Daddy. He made contact with his interdimensional partner, Jeremiah Fink, but it was only by accident that the bond was eventually formed. Two Little Sisters saved a dying Big Daddy, and this act of kindness was enough to bring the two together. Unfortunately for Suchong, he learned the hard way how powerful this bond was. After striking the newly bonded little sister, the Big Daddy retaliated by impaling the doctor through the chest and pinning him to a desk. With this new bond formed, Big Daddies would protect their little sisters with frightening brutality, in many cases violently dispatching any potential threats. The Big Daddy is a genetically modified human with their organs and skin grafted to a diving suit. The Alpha series Big Daddies, however, were not grafted to their suits. To bear the weight of the suit, the human inside has been genetically altered to give them increased strength, agility and endurance. They've also had their voice box altered, which allows them to communicate through low sounds similar to the call of a whale. This modification, combined with a pheromone application, are designed to attract little sisters to the Big Daddy. The various diving suits that the Big Daddies wear are designed to withstand the crushing depths of the ocean and extremely low temperatures. They are fairly resistant to gunfire, making them very difficult to kill through conventional means. The weapon the Big Daddy wields depends on its type. The bouncer uses a powerful drill. Early bouncers were able to fire the drill, but the hydraulics needed made the subject unstable, so it had to be removed. The Rosie holds a rivet gun, initially designed for construction, but you wouldn't want it aimed at your face. The Rumbler is able to deploy miniature turrets and has a shoulder-mounted RPG. The Lancer uses an ion laser, and finally the Alpha series use an assortment of weapons as well as offensive plasmids. Although the Big Daddies were once human, it would be fair to say that the procedure strips away most of what we would deem humanity. After being submerged in a large yellow substance, the Big Daddy candidate is reduced to little more than a wheelless servitor. Becoming a Big Daddy is a one-way street. There is no going back. This was a quick profile of the Big Daddy. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Monster Lore. As always, people, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.